When you build a decentralized application, one of the most challenging part of the UX is the integration with wallets like MetaMask. If you don't do this properly, the user experience will be bad and your users will leave. Fortunately, recently I discovered a library called Web3 Connect that allow you to very easily integrate all kind of wallet, including MetaMask with just a few lines of code. Let's see how this works. Hey, I'm Julian and on my channel Eat the Blocks, I teach blockchain development and solidity. The first step is to install the Web3 Connect library. This is an NPM package, so this is very easy to install. Here is the command you need to run with NPM or Yarn. In the documentation, they show you an example to render a React button very easily. So you need to import Web3 Connect from the Web3 Connect package. And after you can render a button like this. If you want to connect with injected providers such as MetaMask, then you don't need all the stuff that they give in this example, all of that and all the configuration that you see after. However, if you want integration with these different wallets they mentioned like Portis, Squilling, Taurus, etc., then you need to import their provider and after you're going to define a provider option object on the React component of Web3 Connect. And you're going to provide a couple of options, so their provider, and also you need to define your infra endpoint. There are two other props of this button that are very useful. This is on connect and on close. Once the user has enabled your decentralized application with this wallet, then this callback is going to be executed and you'll be able to instantiate Web3 with the provider that will be given by Web3 Connect. And from there, you can bootstrap your application. If you don't want to integrate Web3 Connect in a React application and you need a lower level API, then this is also possible with web 3 connectcore So you provide the same option as before, but this time it's up to you to show the model to the user with this toggle model function. So if you use the React button API, then you will see this button in your DAP, you click on it, then the user select the wallet that they want to use, MetaMask for example, then they will see the confirmation pop up. And finally, you will load the rest of your application. Doing a good job for the user interface of your decentralized application is really important, but also very difficult. And actually, I have a full playlist where I talk about this. So check this out.